All right, let's talk about locked rotor amps. We'll take a look at this working system here. And everything's nice and legible. So, right here, 72.5. That's what we're looking for. Compressor, gives the, your, your, your unit gives you your compressor info, okay? And on your unit, it's gonna tell you what the locked rotor amps are. I'm gonna show you how to use that to verify your compressor is in fact not starting. The loader, the rotors are locked. So this unit right here, see we got this uh, disconnect mounted on our panel, it's very nice. The reason I showed you on that one is because this one you can't really tell that much, but if you look at it, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see, right here, 75, okay? Locked rotor amps are 75. So it may or may not hit that perfectly, okay? But um, that's what that's what you're kind of looking for is you're looking for a number right around there, just above, just below on your voltmeter. So oh, on we did verify that our capacitor is good. So we know our cap is good. That shouldn't be keeping us from starting. And then, well, yeah, so cap is good. And then we'll, what you want to do is you want to find your compressor wire. So. Uh, and we have our system on right here. Okay, so you see the contactors engaged. And in this case, this one is gonna be our compressor wire. Sometimes it's hard to tell the difference. It can be hard to tell the difference between the compressor and the fan sometimes, because you look at this one, um, this is our fan wire and this is our compressor wire. They look pretty close in size, but they're both black, but usually you can you can just, I, I don't know. It, it, once you, you, you're gonna have to find it yourself if you can't find it, but. Find your compressor wire, hook up your amp clamp or your voltmeter, and then some guys like to do the inrush amps. I find if I put it on inrush, sometimes it's not as accurate. So it's a lot, I, I find it better to actually watch it. So turn this off, turn this on. So we're gonna put this on, on amps. Our contactor is engaged. And then what we get to do here, I'm gonna set up the GoPro. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can see that pretty good. So hopefully that doesn't shift too much. Hopefully that got it, because I don't want to do that again. Oh yeah, that got it. But you saw that it did pull that. It should have pulled. Hopefully it showed it in the video, but now it's off. And then your compressor, um, I mean, it will take a while to start it up again. So you can sit here and watch and wait for it to pull again, but it will usually just, it'll, it'll wait a couple minutes and then it'll try again. I don't know how their internal mechanism dictates that, but so we got our fan going. Our compressor is not, but um, that's gonna be the easiest way you can test it. Oh, yep, see it, it's doing it again. And it pulled 77 that time, but the, I was just out here for a second opinion to confirm a bad compressor diagnosis. We already, well, they already got a, a diagnosis from someone. This one is seized up because it ran dry. It's pretty low, so it's not gonna start. Now, there's tricks you can do to try and unlock these things. The primary thing is just use a hard start kit, oversize the hell out of it, bam and give it that little jolt it needs. The risky run is you could blow out a compressor terminal if you do that. So if you do that, we'll turn this back off. So if you look at this compressor, you can see the terminals point directly this way, right here. So if, you, if you're gonna try and start this thing with a hard start kit, then what you're gonna need to do is make sure you're not pointing that way. I've blown a terminal off one compressor and I will tell you what, it's about the scariest shit you can possibly ever do. Like it will blow up, blow its whole charge. And uh, I mean, you hear stories of guys getting hit in the heart with the terminal. Um, like people, I mean, it, yeah, it, it shoots out with a lot of force. So if that thing hit you, you'd, you'd be, I mean, you'd be lucky if you weren't maimed or physically hurt pretty bad. So, so yeah, 
if you're going to try and start these things uh, with a hard start kit, I mean, even if it doesn't really matter the tonnage or the size of cap you put on there, you just throw it on there and get it running. And as soon as that thing starts, you can take it, take the, cap, the hard start off and put it on this properly sized. So if you're oversizing the hard start, you're running the risk of um, blowing up the compressor though. So yeah, that is, uh, that's these things. That's compressors, lock rotor amps. And uh, yeah, if you, want, if you can confirm that it's pulling the amps that this thing is showing, then you know the compressor isn't off on, overload isn't anything, it's literally just not starting. So, uh, yep, that's it for this one. Quick little video, hope, so, um, hope someone finds it useful, and yeah. All right, one more thing. Um, there's gonna be some guys who say like, oh my God, you're a fucking hag, you restarting your compressor with hard start kits, oh my God, like, dude, fuck no. Like, if uh, even, so, Here's the way how you gotta look at it. Like, if you're out on a call, I mean, most of the time you're not gonna replace that system same day. You're not gonna replace that compressor same day. That person's gonna be eternally grateful even if you only get their compressor working for a week. So, um, you just need to communicate to the customer that if you can get that compressor running, they're on borrowed time. And then, yeah, if, it, if you can get it to start, I have seen compressors run indefinitely after you revive them, but I've seen other ones that uh, only run for a day or two, they're, they're calling back because their compressor's dead. So basically, if uh, the compressor, if you have to revive that thing, um, I would highly recommend you get that person to replace their whole unit, put them on the schedule. But if you can at least get them cooling in the meantime, you're going to get some happy customers. Like and subscribe.